Hello, my name is Tim, my company is Sports and Touring, and it's a great pleasure to show you this beautiful BMW M135i in Alpine White. So this is a little bit unusual for us. We took this car in in part exchange, and it is relatively high mileage. 75,000 miles uh, was the last big punctuation mark on its odometer. And usually with part exchange cars, we simply trade them on to counterparts of ours locally or nationally who uh, suit this kind of stock and would want to retail it. But as we looked at this BMW, we realized that despite the mileage, it's in great condition, it really is. And it is a thrilling little machine. It's the 135i, six cylinders, three litres of turbocharged power in a very practical car. Look at the side view there. It's a five-seater, it's pretty compact. It's somewhere between an estate and a hatchback. It could easily be a daily driver and yet it offers enormous thrills behind the wheel and packs a very powerful punch in terms of performance. Yes, of course, there are signs here and there that it is a car which has covered 75,000 miles. There are some little stone chips on the bonnet, for example, and on the nose. But we use the Chipex system and we have dealt with those and it is really presenting in very fine order indeed. Let's take a look inside. The car's supplied, of course, with two remote key fobs, but amongst the features is keyless entry, so grasp the handle and the door will open. And we can see that if this car is good on the outside, then it's fabulous on the inside. An unmarked, unblemished door card. The little scuff plate there, almost as it left the factory. And these beautiful seats, which of course are made with very good materials and they're well designed so that they shouldn't wear, but nonetheless, they are in fabulous order sitting down into the car and we can take a look around the cockpit starting perhaps overhead there is that beautiful electric panoramic roof electric sunroof rather uh, which tilts and slides very desirable feature down here we've got the center stowage there's a phone holder usb socket and auxiliary in for the audio there we've got the controls of course for the Pro nav uh, infotainment system, a manual handbrake, much preferred by performance drivers because it gives you total control over the braking of the rear end of the car. And BMW's lovely shift stick there. It's a great shape. It's a good looking thing. I remember the first time I saw one of those and they were really quite groundbreaking at the time. No one had done anything quite the same in car design. And next to that, of course, the Sport Eco Pro selector buttons. And forward of it, this clever little feature that uh, BMW have done where they've got the cup holders with inserts. So the insert on the left there, for example, holds the key and it's got room for something else as well. And on the right, you've got a little coin tray, but you can lift it out and have another cup holder. And then there is the Pro Nav package with, of course, Harman Kardon audio as well. There's the Harman Kardon label on the speaker on the door, and it's a really good stereo system. Lots of buttons. It's a very technocratic uh, cockpit. I love it, actually. It's it, when I'm used to sitting in Jaguars most of the time and I get in a BMW, the sense of something different and special is, is really there. Uh, very fully featured, this particular M135i. Uh, so, for example, we've got the automatic headlamps. Uh, we've got the multifunction M Sport steering wheel with cruise control, speed limiter and so forth. Um, starting stopping is on the button there. So we'll fire up the engine. It's a relatively quiet engine at idle but it comes to life. The soundtrack when this car is being pushed is really very impressive indeed. And we can have a look there at the big infotainment screen, which has all kinds of features. I mean, you really do need to take a long time to get used to the BMW Pro package. Um, it is easy to navigate. There is just an awful lot of material there, um, including various functions around the car and 
one of my favourites, which is the sports displays, which will sit there and give you uh, horsepower and newton meters of torque as you're driving and you can even split the display screen uh, so that you've got the navigation screen next to the sports displays for example that's just one illustration of how many things you can configure we've got uh, dual zone climate control of course so you and your passenger have different temperatures and heated seats another very good feature of this 135i and the seats by the way are electric seats with the memory package for the driver as well it's a great place to be in terms of the design but it's also in such good quality look at the center console you'd expect to see scratches perhaps you'd expect to see marks and blemishes but in fact it's been very well looked after and looks nothing like one would expect of a higher mileage car. Let's look around the rest of the car then. We can switch the engine off and take a look first at the seat settings there. Into the rear, a perfect door card. I'd be very surprised if these seats have been occupied more than a very few times indeed. And we've got, of course, split folding rear seat. So you can see there, 60-40, you can have two rear seat passengers and some long luggage. You know, whatever you've got, skis, sporting gear, fishing rods, whatever. Around to the back of the car. And there is the boot, and I think the word is capacious. It really is a very large boot for a car of this size. And again, we've got the net here, which holds your big things underneath it and has a little pouch there as well to stop small items flying around. The first aid kit is in the correct place behind this little stowage there. Another sign that the car has been looked after. Oh, and let me point out that lovely little basket area that BMW engineer by taking the space behind the offside rear wheel and just putting a little cargo net in to restrain. And if you put the rear seat fully down and take the uh, parcel shelf out, you've got a very large area indeed. Coming round to the near side, again, great looking door card, unblemished leather. And the front passenger seat. Oh, before we do that, let me just point out the little pool lights here, which make getting in and out in the dark so much easier you can see obstructions and the curb and so on and there's the front passenger door card again in fabulous order and once more i must ask how many times has this seat even been sat in very few i dare say it's in stunning condition so throughout despite 75,000 miles on the odometer this car is in very, very fine order. The bonnet is a double pull release bonnet, which means there's no catch under the front of the bonnet to release. Simply lift it up and there is the twin power turbo M performance, three liter, six cylinder engine, pushing out 326 horsepower and through the automatic gearbox with those flappy paddles. This takes the car from naught to 60 in just 4.9 seconds and on to a top speed of 155. And despite that, the extra urban fuel consumption is 44.1 miles per gallon. And I can tell you personally that driving this car with a light foot, you'll achieve very good economy figures for a car which goes as fast and is as powerful as this one is. Everything's working perfectly, by the way, inside and out. Uh, the mechanics are in excellent order. The service history is very good indeed. And uh, the car has passed all of our inspections without a hiccup, I'm very pleased to say. The wheels are the 436 pattern, five twin spoke, lightweight M Sport alloy wheels in ferric grey. And all four are wearing Goodyear Eagle F1 tyres. An excellent tyre for grip, a quiet tyre and an economical tyre as well.
So thank you very much indeed for watching. It's been a great pleasure to show you this beautiful BMW. We're Sports and Touring. We're just outside Andover in Hampshire. We're open seven days a week by appointment only. You're very welcome to telephone, WhatsApp, or email us with any inquiries. Or if you'd like to come and see the car, either in person or by video call. If you've got a car you need to dispose of, we'll give you frank and honest advice about the best way to achieve the maximum value with the minimum inconvenience, whether by part exchanging, selling privately, or what have you. And if you need to chat about finance, we can do that as well. We're authorised and regulated by the FCA. I hope you'll take a few moments to read our reviews in Autotrader. I'm very proud indeed of our achievements and how our customers feel about us. And I will look forward to hearing from you very soon.